ओम शांति सिक्सटीन्थ डिसम्बर टू थाउजेंड एटीन संडे द ब्लेसिंग इज मे यू बी अ पावरफुल सोल हु इज एन एम्बॉडीमेंट ऑफ रिमेम्बरेंस बाय ओवरकमिंग एडवर्स सिचुएशंस कंसिडरिंग दैम टू बी साइड सीन्स बिकॉज सोल्स who are embodiments of remembrance smriti swarup are powerful they consider adverse situations to be a game no matter how big the situation may be all of those are side scenes on the path for powerful souls to reach their destination people actually spent spend money to go and see sight scenes for powerful souls who are embodiments of remembrance whether you call it an adverse situation a paper or an obstacle all of them are sight scenes therefore remain aware that you have crossed those sight scenes on the way to your destination countless times nothing new for the powerful souls or the souls who are embodiment of remembrance all adverse situations are like game whether you call it game or you call it sight scenes and third paper whether they are adverse situation or obstacles so baba said you have crossed all of these adverse situations or obstacles multiple times and there is nothing new for you in this baba is trying to change attitude was trying to infuse in us a new attitude a new way of dealing a new way of handling adverse situations or obstacles one way is to get tensed to become grouchy complaining nature in the face of adverse situations or obstacles to get depressed to have negative attitude to get tensed and start complaining and start playing blame game this is one thing people do with in the face of adverse situations but baba is teaching us something else baba is telling the first thing to do is think of them as a game so when you think of as a game you have sportsmanship attitude in the game even if somebody loses one enjoys even if he wins still he enjoys so whether winning or losing has nothing to do with internal happiness so games are for enjoyment the very attitude that this situation is a game this situation is a Mm, something which i have to enjoy because probably it will not come again the same people the same situation and the same circumstance this is very unique set of combination which has come unto me so probably it will not come again so this game consisting of this team of players new players this is very unique and i need to enjoy it now because such a team i will never get again and it is good sometimes you know the best players are those who invoke tough opponents they want to defeat they are not happy by playing with those people who are less well known or they don't think they are at par with their level 
they want to play with somebody who is a good challenge for them or they want to defeat a person who is equivalent in strength to them they don't enjoy defeating lesser or weaker souls so it's a good that you have got a team of tough players so every situation consider it as a game as a sports and sports manship attitude will keep one very light that heaviness will not come in yesterday's avyakta murli the very first sign of an angel is lightness lightness in three things what were they sankalp sanskar and sambandh and baba gave three examples three or four at one point he cited brahm shiva baba but then again you will say that he is nirakar and he is incorporeal then he quoted brahma baba but then again you will say that shiva baba was in him then he quoted jagdamba but then you will say that after all she was jagdamba that's why baba quoted fourth example what was the fourth example prakashmani dadi that she won the hearts she remained amongst all and had that harmony of sanskars sanskar milan and yet she had only one thought that i have to become karmatit so the first definition of angel which baba gave yesterday was lightness there are 10 things about angel in yesterday's murli the first was lightness will come to them so consider every situation as a game when you think of situation as a game you remain light otherwise lot of heaviness by constantly thinking about problems challenges uh, adverse situations by thinking of them as an obstacle one becomes heavy so to remain light think of situation as a game second is people go to pilgrimages or people go to um, for sightseeing or people go to different beautiful spots as tourist for what reason to enjoy to see new spots baba says you need not to go anywhere <laughs> these all situations are the sight scenes you are sitting in a train train is going and you see so many sight scenes this situations on both sides sometimes you are surrounded by sight scenes below and above and right and left all time all places so the, those people go to different places they spend money okay and they have to close down their shops their clinics and uh, they incur the losses and then they go and enjoy all those places baba says you need not to go anywhere you get all the sight scenes here only wherever you are if you think of situations as sight scene because every situation is for enjoyment there was a brother here and he said now he has gone to his laukik he said i had a very Mm. Uh, adverse situation has come but it's a very good paper for me i am going to enjoy it so he has gone on leave to enjoy that paper which has come because such paper will not come again yeah he has gone yesterday only <laughs> so he has gone so he is <laughs> so he says a very nice paper has come very tough and i am going to enjoy that paper too much 
so consider situations as sight scenes and sight scenes are for enjoyment and the third thing is consider situations adverse situation as papers so when you think of some paper what is the attitude now i am sitting here and my paper is after one month any paper any p- interview or paper or examination is there then what i have to do i have to pass and come out with flying colors and i have to score the maximum marks and last time i did not fare well but this time i would make up for that loss and i will show that i am i am good i am best i have to show my metal my strength this time so i will study hard i will make planning and then my aim would be just one i have to pass i have to pass i have to pass just as you have the attitude towards adverse situation that you have to pass uh, this exam in the similar manner these situations these obstacles are also exams and there is no similar paper in life one paper only once in 5000 years in this exam one paper only once it will not come again and again such a beautiful paper with all tough questions this is joy in solving such questions if all questions are easy then there is no joy in giving such exam because all will pass the enjoyment is when eight questions are easy and two are very tough now those two questions will decide who will be the first who will be second and i the good student will enjoy such paper he doesn't enjoy those exams where earlier only it is decided that all will pass because then he has no scope of becoming coming first or there is an exam where the only result they give is pass and fail that's it they don't give first second third when such a thing is there there is hardly any joy the when there is a competition cut throat competition everybody is aspiring to come first then there is a lot of excitement then there is a lot of joy so think of situation as games think of situation as sight scenes you don't have to spend money no booking no travel no guide needed to take you across no medical certificate needed for tracking you know they need medical certificate and then they have to do blood test you don't need anything you don't have to have worry about your food especially bkes when they go out for some such thing tracking and all they have to worry about their food they carry food for one month if they go tracking to himalayas because then they don't have any food to eat there here all situations are in front of you you don't have to just you have to do only one thing make the mind strong that's why baba is saying those who are embodiment of remembrance those who are smriti swarup are very powerful souls and they see think of situations as game as sight scenes and as paper so the moment i think of something as paper i have the thought that i have to pass this paper i have to come out with flying colors and or i have to get certificate if i pass this paper baba said you will get the certificate which certificate vigna vinashak destroyer of obstacle i will get the certificate of vigna vinashak if i pass this situation so all this thing will make will keep one what light so what was the first definition of angel in yesterday's murli angel is somebody who is light light in three things s s s triple s sanskar sankalp and samband relationships deep rooted sanskar and thoughts so 
the goal of this Brahmin life is to become angel. And just as Baba has three forms, Baba saw us in three forms as well. And what are our three forms? Angel, we are Brahmin now, will become angel, and then there will be deity. So these are the three forms. The first definition of angel is, angel is somebody who is light, who is not heavy. And as I said, Baba gave all the four examples of Shri Baba himself, then Brahma, and then Jagdamba and Dadi. So, the first definition is lightness. The second definition of angel is, he will be loved by all. He will be loved by all. So, first is Halka, the second is Pyara. The third definition of angel is Nyara. Nyara from Sakar Sharir. He will be detached from the body, this corporeal body. That is the third definition of angel. The fourth definition of angel is he is king. Angel means Raja. This father has got the intoxication that in the entire 5000 years, each and every child of mine is a Swaraj Adhikari, self-sovereign. He is king. So, angel is somebody who is king. That is the fourth definition of angel. Fifth thing Baba talked about angel is angel and seva. How? This is the second paragraph. Angel and seva. In seva, if you have bodiless stage, you will have less efforts and more effect. You will have less efforts and more effect. At present you are doing very good seva, but do the seva of giving sandesh is needed at present. So, if you inculcate bodilessness in seva, in service, your service will increase by leaps and bounds. So, few more things are said here about angelic stage and service. So, staying in the angelic stage, staying in the bodiless stage, has got an indirect effect on service. Service will increase exponentially. Service, the graph of service will automatically rise if an angelic stage is combined. So that is the fifth thing. The sixth thing about angel is double light. I am a double light angel. Baba gave that Swaman. And if you have this Swaman, all the other souls will get experience. And Baba cited here the example of Brahma Baba. If people would come to him and then they would get the experience of bodilessness. They would come with many questions, but the moment they would come in front of him, they would become speechless. And that was the effect and that was the result of his angelic stage. And here Baba also said, uh, if you remain in that mm, stage of double light, your light will have effect on the soul who is in front of you and even he will shine. He will get the experience that these souls are shining. So there would be effect. I am a double light angel. The seventh definition of angel is Sanskar Milan. Angel means who would there would be harmony of sanskar. There would not be conflict of sanskar. And Baba said, you are living in such a huge sangatan, in a huge gathering. And there is every possibility that there is conflict. But here again Baba cited the example of Dadiji. That she also remained and she did this sanskar milan. So angel is somebody where there is such symphony of sanskar, harmony of sanskar, such uh, mixing of sanskars in a very very harmonious manner. So, seventh is this. Hmm? Huh? 
हार्मोनाइजिंग संस्कार और वॉट एवर यू कॉल इट द एट इज नेक्स्ट पॉइंट दे विल क्रॉस टू टाइप ऑफ ऑब्स्टेकल्स एंजल मीन्स हु हैज क्रॉस टू टाइप्स ऑफ ऑब्स्टेकल देह भान एंड देह अभिमान देह भान विच एवरीबडी नोज एंड देह अभिमान मीन्स ego of specialities there are two things in that my specialities and i get attracted towards other specialities about my specialities i give very good speeches my giving of course is very good my handling power is very good i have this particular speciality so this ego about these things as you progress ahead in service baba said one is beset with such all sorts of abhiman देह अभिमान दैट कम्स एंड रिगार्डिंग अदर्स आई गेट अट्रैक्टेड टूवर्ड्स अदर्स बिकॉज आई सी समबडी स्पीक्स वेरी गुड सो आई गेट अट्रैक्टेड बाबा सेट स्टे डिटैच एंड देन गेट एंड देन लर्न फ्रॉम अदर्स इट्स नॉट दैट यू गेट अट्रैक्टेड टूवर्ड्स अदर्स दैट इज ऑल्सो एक्ट ऑफ बॉडी कॉन्शियसनेस दैट वेन आई सी समबडी स्पेशलिटी समबडीज हैंडलिंग पावर समबडी स्पीच इज गुड दैट आई गेट अट्रैक्टेड टूवर्ड्स दैट पर्सन सो दैट टू टाइप्स ऑफ this obstacles they have born and they have been angel is somebody who has crossed these two types of obstacles so that is eighth the ninth is angel is you have to reveal the angelic form in this sakar life pratyekshata of angelic form in the sakar life and how do we do that what did baba say for that Hmm? What? Hmm? Practice. Practice what? Some people, Baba said here, bodyless stage and self-checking. Do self-checking. Self-checking for what? Whether I am getting attracted towards somebody's speciality. One is this, and then Baba gave example of few children who get disturbed by every small thing. Who get disturbed by every small thing. so then also need to check so this is how you bring reveal this angelic form into the sakar life and the last quality of an angel is emerge the angelic sanskars what you have to do emerge the angelic sanskar and here again baba gave the example of that brahma baba people used to come to him and uh, they would ask questions and he would go they would become bodiless and become go beyond questions so in emerge the sanskar of angelic life so these are some of the points about angel what are they about 10 points 10 definitions of angel baba started the murli with that only you the goal of your life the lakshya and lakshan the goal and the qualification that you have need is to become angel the first thing is halka angel means who is light light in triple s triple s halka in sanskar sankalp and samband so the one who is light in these three things is angel the one who is heavy is not angel angel is lightness the second definition of angel is first halka second pyara he will be loved by all the third definition of angel is he will be nyara nyara from sakar body and baba added here the same another word he will be double light but that we will take in another point he will be double rajya adhikari the fourth definition of angel is he is king raja he is a master of his own senses physical senses the fifth definition or point is angel and seva angel and seva i was said you have done lot of seva but now do this addition of angelic stage into the seva make this new addition because if you do this the effect the prabhav would be more and the mehnat and the effort would be less so the fifth thing is related to seva the sixth thing is i am double light angel i am double light farishta and here again baba gave the example of brahma baba how hmm 
या फर्स्ट पॉइंट इज हल्का इज बाबा यूज द वर्ड हल्का मीन्स लाइट लाइट इन दीज थ्री थिंग्स एंड वेन बाबा इज यूजिंग द वर्ड इन सिक्स इज डबल लाइट ही इज एक्चुअली हियर फ्यू डिफरेंट पॉइंट्स आर देयर हियर बाबा इज सेंग डबल लाइट मीन्स यू गिव एक्सपीरियंस टू अदर्स द मोर फोकस इज ऑन गिविंग एक्सपीरियंस टू अदर हियर द फोकस इज ऑन थ्री एस here the focus is on giving experiences to others like everybody should see you as you are increase the experience of bodylessness and increase the experience of this angelic stage and the moment others see you the vayumandal would be created so it is more related to creating a vayumandal and more creating atmosphere or others so that is sixth the seventh definition of angel is sanskar milan angel means somebody where there is a harmonizing of sanskar there is a wonderful harmony and symphony of sanskar there is no conflict you are not at loggerheads with anybody everything is going on smoothly because you are so adjustable that even though you find as the vardhan is saying today is adverse situations and you think of them as game as side scenes and paper you don't have to go to any side scene office you sit and the situations come all side scenes are in front of you so seventh is harmonizing of sanskar milan the eighth is two types of obstacle dehavan and dehaviman the angel is somebody who has crossed dehavan and dehaviman dehaviman means my speciality is or speciality of others ninth definition of angel is i bring make pratyaksh the angelic form into sakar life this is the definition of angel and the 10th definition of angel is emerge the angelic sanskar so these are the 10 different points about angel or angelic life or the 10 different things about angel from yesterday's murli and just as dadi had only one thought i have to become karmatit so also you should have only one thought that i have to become angel and without becoming angel you cannot become deity if you want to become deity you have to become angel first so make planning to become angel there should be some plan some blueprint some thing in our hand some points whereby we become angel baba said keep on doing self checking baba has used the word self checking keep doing self checking and see how far i am away from angelic stage what i have to do where i am attached so if you see total all the points so there is a lightness so work on the lightness work on the sanskar milan work on creating powerful atmosphere these are the some of the points i need to work upon and work on the habiman where i am egoistic i give good speeches i give seven days course nicely my handling power is more and baba give one more point what is the proof that you have got dehabiman apaman and second robe these are the two things if suppose uh, you are insulted and your opinion your rai or your thoughts or your planning is not accepted you feel insulted to to feel insult is the sign that you have got lot of deha abhiman and second is robe force i try to show so that is also sign of deha abhiman so angel is somebody who has crossed the eighth point is angel is somebody who has crossed these two obstacles angel is somebody who is doing sanskar milan angel is somebody who is bringing the angelic stage into sakar life an angelic somebody who is emerging his angelic sanskar angelic somebody who is light angel is somebody who is loved by all angel is somebody who is who is nyara from body angel is somebody who is king raja angel is somebody who, who is service combining angelic stage into service an angel is somebody who is double light by this double light you are influencing the vayumandal those souls who will be come in contact with you they will get attracted by your angelic form so these are the different 10 points about angel option 3